Hello, I'm Miles Tails Prower. We will learn about damped harmonic motion. When the motion of an oscillator reduces due to an external force, the oscillator and its motion are damped. These periodic motions of gradually decreasing amplitude are damped simple harmonic motion. For example, a simple pendulum, which is oscillating from high potential level to low potential level on either side until it reaches at the mean position, this process is called dampening. In many vibrating systems, the frictional force can be modeled as being proportional to the velocity of the object, that is, F equals minus CV, where C denotes as a viscous dampening coefficient. According to Newton's second law, the balance of force is given by F equals minus kx minus c times dx by dt equal to m times d2x by dt squared. As discussed earlier, x is a distance, dx by dt is the velocity, and d2x by dt squared is the acceleration. We can rewrite this as d2x over dt squared plus 2 times this variable zeta and omega naught times dx by dt plus omega naught squared times x equal to zero. Where omega naught is the undamped angular frequency of the oscillator, equal to square root k over m. And zeta called the damping ratio, equal to c divided by 2 times square root of mk. There are three cases of damping ratio. If the damp ratio is greater than 1, the system returns into steady state without the oscillation. This case is called overdamped oscillator. If the damping ratio is equal to 1, the system returns to steady state as quickly as possible without oscillating, although the overshoot can occur. This case is called critically damped oscillator. And if the damping ratio is less than 1, the system oscillates with the amplitude gradually decreasing to 0. This case is called underdamped oscillator. But in that case of underdamped oscillator, the angular frequency of the underdamped harmonic oscillator is given by omega 1 equals omega naught times square root of 1 minus zeta squared. The exponential decay of the underdamped harmonic oscillator is given by lambda equals omega naught times zeta. The graph of step response will be depicted as follows. We can determine the decay of time as the oscillation damps down according to the factor of mu equal to the given angular frequency. When the mu value increases, the number of oscillations will increase. The decay time is given by tau, equals, 1 over zeta times omega naught. One thing about is the viscosity, you can measure in terms of millipascal seconds. The least viscosity is the benzene, which is the value 0.604 millipascal seconds. So the value of mu is higher as per the number of oscillations. The highest viscosity is honey, with a value of 2000 millipascal seconds. This would achieve a minimum number of oscillation, that is a half oscillation as mu equals 1. You would note that the mu value can determine the half oscillation. Finally, the Q factor of a damped oscillator is defined as, Q equals, 2 byte times energy store per unit energy lost per cycle, which is also equal to 1 over 2 zeta. So this topic we have briefly discussed about damped harmonic motion. Like, comment, and subscribe now.